So episode seven of BMF season two, um, it was good. It was it was good because it showed a lot. You know, Meech and Terry got like a new connect in Colombia, and Charles. Oh, before I even get to Charles, K nine shooting at this his. A family member in the head? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> it was like, yo, we family. Like, he's just crazy to me. He's just completely crazy. But that kind of got, like, pushed out to the side because after when, you know, Meech and Terry got the new connect, and now they're they're good because at the end when K-9 was telling Meech, he said, well, this mentorship is over now. You're a boss now. So this is going to propel the story into the future of when Meech and Terry, I guess, will still be dealing with the Colombians. Until, like, I guess, like, a certain point in time where, uh, you know, everything, like, crash and burns and they won't be in control or, or have those connections anymore. So, I like where that little direction is going. And Raisin basically betraying them. He had to have him killed because it was just like, hey, they're kind of betraying us. And K-9 understood that. So, he was just like, I would have done the same thing. So, and he was telling him about, like, hey, man, family. And it's kind of like throwing out a hint of... Something that will potentially happen in the future between, like, Meech and Terry, where they will be, they're going to be together for a while, but then, you know, eventually they won't be together anymore. It's just they're going to break off into, like, a different branch of BMF. So that's going to be very interesting to see, like, later on. And, oh, Charles. (laughs) Charles. That man had his tongue out his mouth when Mabel was like, oh, have you ever been with two women before? He, like. Nah, man, like, what you, what type of freak you think I am? He was just like, nah, I'm going to show you. And, then, and it's crazy because it's like anywhere Meech would be at, it's kind of like, you know, and, and I had a, I was all right with when Charles was saying, like, listen, you know, is it okay for us to be out in the open? When you're, okay, I'm not going to say that. But, <laughs> but it's just like if you're cheating, if you're cheating, it's like why would you be out in the open? I know some people are crazy to even do that, but it's just like why would you be out in the open? But. Hey, me saw him, and then later on, he was he was talking to me. He said, hey, man, so remember that time you know, when we was kids and shit, you know, playing the drums? And me was just like, listen, man, um, I was the cause of majority of, you know, stuff that happened between the family, but I ain't going to say anything. Now, he's a good son. Meech is a good son because he's just like, listen, I, I understand. I can't be with more than one woman. I understand. But he's like, I'm not going to say anything, but you know. I don't. I think two things might happen. Either Charles might say something, or somebody's gonna bust him. I'm thinking Lucia is gonna catch him. I I strongly see that because Brian did some. Oh, like that was just some fuck shit. How he gonna come along, show the pictures to Lawanda, say like, see, 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 hey man, you know Terry, he ain't right. He cheating on you, right? He cheating. <laughs> she sees the whole thing, and then I guess she's pregnant now. So, oh God. And then she approaches Terry later, like, oh, like, you cheating? He's like, no, but you left. So what you think I was supposed to do? So he's like, oh, so you just going to abandon your family? Then that's just kind of, like, blown up. I'm like, well, well, <laughs> that was going to happen. Like, bro, Brian was on some bullshit. He was on some bullshit. Like, Lamar was cool this episode, but, like, it was really Brian that kind of stole it because he we finally figured out that it was Brian that kidnapped B Mick, he kidnapped him and had him in the trunk for two days, and then B Mick is able to get out the trunk, and then he goes over to like the hospital to try to like see his mom, but then it was just like, oh, we try to get in contact with you, but your mom passed away two days ago, so it was like, ooh, whew, that's crazy. He <laughs> like the man, you know, he couldn't couldn't reach the meat, couldn't reach to his mom, so now his mom passed away, and now it's like I like that. Like, when future Terry was explaining, he was just like, you know, you know, thieves and cops is like two coins, uh, two sides of the same coin. It's just like one's basically uh, a gang member with a badge, technically. And I like that. I, I really do like that concept of what he was explaining because it is true. You look at today. Look, look at today. You have most. OK, half of well, half, I would say cops that are good. And then you have the other half are gang members with badges. They sit in here. I could beat the hell out you. I could rob you for your money. If your if your girlfriend looks good, I'm gonna have my partner beat you down, and me and my other two partners we're gonna take your girl in the back and we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna show what this police like life really looks like. So you got that going on. So I'm like, listen, I don't know what's gonna happen. I feel like B Mick might try to get some sort of revenge or payback on Brian. I don't know. He might try to kill him, but 
I think he probably might maybe miss and maybe kill Jin. Because we see like in like later on where Brian and Jin embrace each other. I'm like, ah, I don't care. I don't care. Like, sure, maybe there's some people out there who do. I'm just like, ah, I don't care. I'm more focusing on is how B Mick is gonna come for Brian and all of this stuff that's gonna happen with like Meech and, and you know, meeting new people, gaining more connections, like how that's gonna be. And and <laughs> eventually the whole story between like Marquisha and, and Terry, because Terry, you know, was just like, Hey, you know, I love you, I don't love her anymore. But then now he may or may not have a kid with Rwanda and she still stuck to boom because it's like, you know, marriage and this and that. And she can't leave and Terry wouldn't understand because he's not really married. He just has a baby mama. So he wouldn't understand. And plus, he's not he's not in like a, a situation like her. See, Lawanda is like he cheated on her so she can just like pack up and leave. And she doesn't have to she doesn't really have any loyalty towards Terry. She, she don't <laughs> she don't so it's it's kind of crazy though it, it really is but i thought this episode was pretty good to be honest i thought it was like really good and then the one thing i i kind of like too from this episode was like lamar because lamar was like hey you know i don't want to give up on my dog i love my dog blackie then he goes to the church <laughs> then you know pastor try to pull out the gun he's just like man you better leave you better i'm like wait a minute he packing i i didn't know he had a gun on him he said man try to Pull out the old Esau from me. So I'm like, oh, shit. Like, he, he had a gun on him. I'm like, oh. I wonder if, I, well, seeing how crazy Lamar is this entire season, he probably might kill the pastor. He was like, oh, man, this Lord, you know, this some bull. Like, you can't save my dog. I'm like, oh. But I think Lamar's wrath is going to continue to grow because, I mean, he's still, he's still kind of looking for Meech. And now that his dog died, it's... I don't know, Lamar's like a broken man at this point, but he's on a mission to try to kill uh, Meech, but I don't know how that's going to go, <laughs> seeing how Meech is starting to, like, slowly going to be getting the troops and getting things together, so it's going to be quite interesting for Meech. It's going to be quite interesting, but I cannot wait to see what's going to happen in episode 8, because I'm telling you, I feel like Charles going to get busted. <laughs> I have a sneaky suspicion Charles is going to get busted, because he's sitting there, he's like, man, yo... Mabel son, oh shit, she's showing me the ones. So he had his tongue out his mouth. That's the shit that had me. I'm like, look, look at Charles. Look at fucking Charles. His tongue out his mouth. He's like, oh shit. Ooh, you looking good. And me looking at him. He, oh shit, my son here. Get fuck off me. <laughs> like, <laughs> he like, I love that shit so much. It was so good. But overall, um, it was good. But comment down below all your thoughts. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will catch you all in the next one.